All right, you guys. So I wanted to jump on today and just talk a little bit of some fears that um, have come to me from buyers. Um, you know, asking whether or not it's a good time to purchase um, this year, next year, in the next five years, um, and a couple of hesitations that um, some people have um, when they are in the process of um, whether or not even they want to purchase a home um, at this time or in Florida. So one important thing to know about Florida is that the market here is very large and very slow to change. And that is because there are many different sub markets. Um, so each has its own unique dynamic and um, it cannot go off of all of the other states. You know, there are um, Florida uh, lays third in um, the most um, popular state to move into or the most populated state um, and actually first in the state to move to. So at this moment, Florida is very popular when it comes to um, people moving here. Um, but there are some general trends that are affecting the entire state. So I'm reading this off of um, some notes that I took um, in some research that I did for the questions that I have received. And this is off of the FloridaRealtors.org page, okay? Um, Florida's population is growing rapidly because of retirees and second um, home buyers. And we all know that, right? We have the snowbirds who come down here and also people who are investing here. We have the big investors and smaller investors that are coming here to Florida and purchasing homes and renting it for to you and I and everybody else in the area. So it puts a little bit of a strain on the housing supply. So is the market due for a crash? Well, it is impossible to tell. You know, some um, people who really dedicate themselves to um, knowing the housing market or the economy, those are the ones that can get a better, closer look. Um, we can just kind of go off of the trend that we see. So um, there are both positive and negative factors that can influence the market. Um, as of September 2023, home prices have not shown a significant drop. In fact, the statewide median have demonstrated stability and in some cases, moderate growth. Um, they are holding steady in 2023. So despite facing challenges such as higher mortgage rates, it has not exhibited a significant slowdown in 2023. Um, closed sales of single family homes have seen a healthy increase of over 6% in just September of 2023. The dollar volume of a single family home sales in September soared by 14% year over year. Um, that, in, that was an impressive reach of $12 billion. Um, this is a substantial increase and a testament that Florida's um, enduring appeal is still there. Um, the positive trend with an expanding inventory and resilient condo townhouse sale indicates that the market is far from stagnating. So those are the notes that I took about um, that specific um, question. If we're gonna reach a crash, we don't know essentially if we're gonna, you know, receive a crash or not. And, um, you know, if Florida will be highly affected, it could be most affected, could be least affected. It's not a very clear answer. So is that really gonna stop you from purchasing your home here? Is that really gonna stop you from making your move? That's a question that you've got to answer off of educated, um, with an educated uh, decision that you have to make with all of the information given to you from everyone else's opinion. Um, inventory growth, you know, we have huge builders here in Florida and they are constantly building. They are always, there's neighborhoods being built everywhere. You know, you're driving down small sur uh, suburbs of Orlando and you see growth and growth and growth everywhere. So if we were slowing down, I really don't think that those bigger, bigger builders, nationwide builders, not the smaller local builders, but nationwide builders like DR Horton, Lennar, Adam Homes, all those kind of um, builders, they wouldn't be building newer 
um, communities if we were, if they assumed that a crash was coming and they were going to lose out on all of their um, investment. So um, inventory growth, despite the higher mortgage rates, the level and new listings has been increasing steadily. In September also, new single family listings exceeded the number of listings for the same month in 2019 pre-pandemic with an impressive year over year increase of 8%. This means there's more active inventory at the end of September than at the beginning, meaning as the year has gone by, the end of September was more active than the beginning of September. So um, supply insights, that's another question. How much supply do we actually have? Florida had a 3.2 month supply of single family existing homes in September, reflecting a 28% increase. So what do you think? With that information taken from the FloridaRealtors.org page, like I mentioned, Florida steadily seems to be increasing in inventory and the desire to move to this state. It's a really good sign that Florida is just on a different level and the affordability still exists. So make your decision. You let me know. And if you know of anybody who wants to buy or sell, make sure that they call me. Have a good one, guys. If you like any of these kind of videos, I specialize in running to search for the best deal and the right home for you. So please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on all of the wonderful homes I post about every week.